Hey gang, Commander Mercury here with a very quick video of me just kind of reacting to something that I find uh, ridiculously coincidental, but still kind of funny. Um, I've been playing a little bit of... I got Scarlet. I got, I got Pokemon Scarlet. I've been playing a little bit. Um, I've finally reached the point where I can battle... I found Team Star. I haven't battled them yet. Found two Pokemon gyms, haven't battled them yet just because I haven't had time, but I have been raising up my team. And one of the Pokemon that I caught very early on in the game was Palmy. Uh, I was probably one of my probably one of my favorite Pokemon that, it, that was uh, revealed in the trailers. I was really excited to see what it would evolve into. Um, one of the things I sometimes do when I nickname my Pokemon is uh, name them after characters that I like. I mean, who doesn't, obviously, but, uh, uh, characters in other media that I kinda like, that I would, that I just like, um, and I named the Pommy that I caught Aziraphale. For those of you that don't know, that's a, uh, angel in Good Omens, for any of you who are, uh, familiar with that sort of thing, uh, because it's, to me, um, Pommy was very cute, very fluffy, uh, definitely fits Aziraphale if you ask me, <laughs> um, but I didn't know what it would evolve into. I had stayed away from leaks and everything like that. <clears throat> stayed away from YouTube and stuff like that for a while, just because I didn't want to be spoiled. Finally, finally evolved it into its final form, and I could not have chosen, I don't think I could have chosen a better uh, nickname for it. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> spoilers for anybody who doesn't want to be, uh, Spoiled, uh, most of my- I'm sorry. <laughs> Should've said that before I showed my team for like half a second. Uh, spoilers for anybody who doesn't want to be spoiled. Uh, click away in three, two, one. Here's what it evolved into. Here's the zero fill right there. <clears throat> and I was right, it's still fluffy, still a little chubby little thing. But the thing that made me absolutely laugh... <laughs> so hard was... how do I get to... oh. I don't know how to use the controls on this thing. Was... that move right there. That's what it learns upon evolving. Revival Blessing. It revives a fainted teammate to half of its health. And what's a... I could not have chosen a better nickname, an angel. <laughs> uh, a Pokemon nicknamed after an angel coincidentally gets the most angelic sounding evolution move ever. <laughs> and I just, I could not help but laugh when I, when that, when I evolved it and that's what it learns. Like, oh, you could not have... <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. I'm probably the only person on earth who would think that was hilarious, but um I just think it's I just think it's that's the greatest coincidence that that could have possibly happened. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Uh but uh yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on that subject. Uh here's the rest of my team for anyone who knows. I chose uh I chose Frigatito like I said I was going to. Nicknamed it Alder, because it's a grass type, and Alder is a tree, I think. Uh, not very happy that it evolved into a bipedal Pokemon. It looks cool. It kind of reminds me of Lucario, honestly. Here, let me see if I can scroll down. I don't know how to do the controls while I'm, I have my phone in my hand. Kind of looks like Lucario, if you ask me. I don't know what it's going to evolve into its final form, but uh, so far I'm glad I chose it. <clears throat> Um, uh, Beelzebub, another Good Omens reference, <laughs> just because I like that character a lot in the miniseries. Uh, I'm probably going to switch this guy out just because uh, I don't really need a bug type, frankly. It looks really cool. I really want to use it, but I'm probably going to end up switching it out, unfortunately. Uh, looks cool. Took a while to evolve. It's just not... It's such a glass cannon. <laughs> That's the only way I can think to describe it. It's a glass cannon. Uh, probably gonna switch it out. Uh, Cindy. 
Uh, the little, uh, little dog named after a dog that, um, my neighbor used to have that I liked. Uh, it's so cute. I'm death. This is definitely going to be a staple of my team. Uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a staple of my team. Hits really hard. Good typing. Uh, really fast. I like it. It's just cute. I like it. This is probably, this is probably going to stay on my team. Uh, Zero Fail, Alder, and Cindy are probably going to be the stables of my team. I might switch out a couple other Pokemon, but uh, unless I find something better, I'm they're definitely going to stay on my team. Garnet the Fletchinder is literally just here because I needed something for the grass gym that I haven't faced yet. Uh, I'm probably going to switch her out. I actually haven't used a Fletchinder. I haven't 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 used the Fletchling line ever. Not even in uh, X and Y. But uh, I'll use her for now. Probably switch her out later. And Sludge, I finally figured out what uh, Paul Dan um, Hooper evolves into. Kind of a uh, letdown, I guess. It's kind of just like what Quagsar would look like if it looked more like a giant salamander, I guess. Even though it does look like a giant salamander already, but uh, it looks cute, I guess. I like it. Good typing, pretty, pretty good typing, pretty good attack. My kind of Pokemon, I guess. I like it, it's cute. It's so derpy. I like Paldean and Wooper a little bit better, but, uh, uh, this is cool too. But yeah, Zero Fail is pretty much what I wanted to make this video of anyways, but I just figured I'd show the rest of my team. Uh, I like this little thing. It's so cool. I like it. <laughs> uh, definitely worth getting a me if you ask me. All right, well, that's, uh, pretty much all I have to say on this, at this, uh, point. Uh, Spank Man and Mercury speaking, and hope you guys are enjoying Scarlet and Violet.